I'll get Tuesday morning. The time right now is 617. We still have some lingering scattered rain to fall working across the area this morning and still some clouds out the door along with some fog. A live look outside. This is our Superdome camera looking into the city. You can see that fog along with that drizzle chance that continues through this morning. Scattered showers through 8 o'clock. Temperatures in the lower 60s by lunchtime today. Looking at spotty shower chances. So we'll back those rain chances up just a bit. That continues through 4 o'clock. High temperatures upper 60s and low 70s under mostly cloudy skies. Here's the big picture right now regionally and what you can see here. Your eyes may be drawn to the counterclockwise flow that you see here around Arkansas and then this rainfall pulling away. We have a cold frontal boundary which has now made its way east of the area along with those stronger showers and heavy rainfall and we still have some moisture left building in behind this area of low pressure. So that's why we're going to maintain those rain chances through this afternoon and also through tonight. Another cold front out to our west but that one will sort of fall apart as it gets closer to the region that will help to drive in some drier air though as we move into Wednesday morning. Here's the latest look now at the rainfall pulling through working from southwest to northeast and we have some scattered activity left mainly along the coast now so not too much happening around the metro area but be mindful of that drizzle potential and that ponding on the roadways looking good over the causeway as we look towards the coast that's where we find some of the more moderate rainfall picking up about a quarter of an inch right along the coast of St. Bernard Parish looking to the north shore pretty quiet for Tangipaho, aside from some spotty showers right around Hammond, pushing to the east along I-12, Washington Parish into St. Tammany, also towards Pearl River County, Mississippi, seeing some spotty rainfall. Not a whole lot happening in terms of rainfall over the last 24 hours, but some decent totals between about one half of an inch and close to two inches for a couple of spots on the south shore. Meanwhile, out west along I-49, between one and three inches of rainfall fell yesterday. We're still seeing some showers right around Kenner, 61 degrees. Winds are east, southeast at eight miles per hour at the airport and we're looking at 60s all around. The exception is Hammond right now, upper 50s. We do have some fog in spots, as you saw on our camera, down to three miles for Gulfport and seven for Homa. Be mindful of that patchy fog potential through the morning hours. Winds will help to uh, escort some of that breezy, uh, breezy setup into the afternoon, five to 10 miles per hour throughout the day. Here's the next 12 hours we're looking at upper 60s with some breaks in the clouds from time to time. So we could see some lower 70s for some spots, generally on the North Shore, I think having a better chance with some breaks in the clouds initially. That's because we start to have this dry air, which is now starting to slowly push in, but we still have that upper level energy right around Arkansas that's going to keep the cloud cover in place for much of the day. Here's that cold front by three o'clock, still east of the area, but notice the shower is still also right over us as we go into the late afternoon, early evening hours. Here's that cold front, which will sort of dissipate into Wednesday morning. We're looking at some breaks in the clouds Wednesday afternoon, a stray shower possible, but we're looking pretty good as we get into Wednesday evening just in time for our parade and speaking of looking at the planner a light jacket maybe on Wednesday with temps in the 60s during the evening Thursday will start in the 70s with those temperatures falling through the 60s during the evening hours with mainly clear skies and Mardi Gras this is fat Tuesday right now looking pretty good a mild one mid to upper 70s with some spotty showers and some sun and clouds rolling in here's that seven day forecast the warm up continues through Friday highs near 80 degrees and then the cold front rolls through that could bring us some isolated showers, cooling us down into the 60s through the weekend. Overnight lows 30s and 40s, and then, yep, there's the backup uh, to temperatures mid 70s by Monday, Lundy.